Hello students, this is Dr. Fezan Mirza. Uh, we are discussing the content of micrometry and how the micrometry includes the use of stage micrometer and what is a stage micrometer and how do we use an IP's graticule. So what exactly an IP's graticule, how do we use an IP's graticule, how do we calibrate it? So this is what I'll be covering. And I'll be doing this using some MCQs, which, are, which uh, I've seen um, in the past paper. So I'll be discussing these with you. So um, let's start with our discussion here. What exactly is, is an IP's graticule? What exactly is a stage micrometer? So this, this circle here, this circle here represents the view field. So this is the view field, which means that when you are using a microscope, and you are looking through an eyepiece, this is what you see. This is exactly the view field that you will see um, in your view. Uh, and what do you see? You see there's a scale here. And this scale is having how many divisions? It's having 100 divisions. You can see 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100 divisions here. And if you look closely, between every 10 divisions, there are uh, small, uh, you can say nine lines. So this basically is 10 divisions. So 10 divisions that separate one broad line from the other. I can say between two broad lines, this broad line and this broad line, there are a total of nine divisions here, which makes this complete set as 10. Now, what is an eyepiece graticule? An eyepiece graticule is having 100 divisions and this is fitted in the eyepiece of the microscope. So you can recall what an eyepiece of a microscope is in, in using, using um, a light microscope. You just fit this eyepiece graticule. It's a circular glass slide uh, with, with this scale etched on it. And this fits well into the eyepiece, uh, into the eyepiece. And then you insert that eyepiece back into the light microscope. And when you view the specimen, which is placed on the stage, the specimen can be seen. And this scale will be seen on on top of their specimen. What is this, this structure? This is a stage micrometer. So what is a stage micrometer? Stage micrometer is actually a glass slide which we place on the stage. And you can see in a glass slide, they will be here. You normally have a specimen here, but in this case, we have a scale here etched on the glass slide. And this is a stage micrometer. So what do you do? This slide is placed on the stage of the microscope. You place this on the stage of the microscope, and then you can use any combination of lenses to view this particular stage micrometer. You can use the uh, the the eyepiece of, uh, for example, if the eyepiece that you are using this eyepiece is uh, is 10x, and uh, the objective lens that you are using is is uh, 40x. So this means if you are using an eyepiece of 10 magnification and the objective of 40 magnification, the effective magnification will be 400 times because you are magnifying the image 400 times. Whatever is placed on the stage and which is viewed using eyepiece of 10x and the objective lens of 40x, which it actually shows that the total magnification will be 400. So at 400, this is, the, this is what we see. The stage micrometer can be seen here. This keep remembering this, this, this is the stage micrometer and this is the glass light placed on the stage. And, and this scale is what's in the eyepiece. You can just recall where the eyepiece is in the microscope, where is the stage. If you are not very sure, then you can just refer to that any diagram that shows the, uh, where the eyepiece is located in the microscope and where is the stage located in the microscope. So the stage micrometer and the eyepiece reticule are placed on these two, these two parts of the light microscope. Now, at few hundred X, what do you see? Irrespective of whatever magnification you choose, you will always see all the hundred divisions of the eyepiece at once. But depend, it depends on how much magnified the image is that the stage micrometer divisions can be seen accordingly. So for example, if you are having the image magnified 400 times, which means you are using an objective of 40 X, in this case, this is what you see on the stage you see a thick broad line, another thick broad line, a much broader line, in fact, another line as well. There are no numbers here. There are no units or numbers mentioned here. What's, what we already know that stage micrometer is having equally spaced lines. 
And in this case, the stage micrometer is having two lines which are separated by a distance of 0.1 millimeter. So this value is given to us. Now, we know that if the value is given to us, what do we have to do? We have, we know that this distance is 0.1 millimeter. We have to calibrate our IP's graticule using the value or the scale on the stage micrometer. This value here, 0.1 millimeter can be converted to micrometer. How can you do this? You can just multiply this by thousand. You will get hundred micrometer here. So according to this image, what do we see? We see that a total of 40 divisions of the IP's graticule equals to 100 micrometer. This is the scale that I can very well see for my calculations from this image. How did I do this? I just counted the actual, um, you can say line of coincidence here. This is 10, another 10, another 10, another 10. So this makes a total of 40 IP's graticule division that makes up uh, for 100 micrometer. Now what I'll do here, using this value, I can just make sure that this is a scale that I'll be using. Now the question says that this diagram shows a stage micrometer viewed with an IP's graticule using a stage, using a, a magnification of 400 X. The image, I think we have interpreted this image very well. Using the same magnification of chloroplast is measured and found to be four IP's graticule. So it means that the, the chloroplast and the stage was the stage micrometer was removed from here and a glass slide was placed and the glass slide had the plant cell here. So the chloroplast measured something like four units on this particular IP's graticule. They are asking you how long is the chloroplast. So we know that 40 IP's graticle divisions equal to 100 micrometer and four division, which is the division occupied by this chloroplast. How many micrometer are these? So we just apply the ratio method. And when we apply the ratio method, we know that since 40 divisions equal to 100 micrometers, so four divisions equals to x, and we can calculate x by by use by multiplying four by 100 and dividing by 40. Our answer comes out to be 10 micrometer. 10 micrometer equals to 1.0 to 10 to the power one micrometer. You can just convert this into exponent form because all the answers given to us are in the exponent forms, and we converted the value of millimeter to micrometer because all the answers given to us in the options were micrometer. So if you just uh, look at the options available, so you can very well see what your answer should be. Let's try another question. Here, uh, the diagram shows the stage micrometer scale and the divisions are mentioned are 0.1 millimeter. Now you can see that unlike the previous diagram where we were already given with the value of 0.1 millimeter on this, on this, uh, this slide here, in this case, it's not mentioned. In this case, we are shown that this, this region, this is not labeled as 0.1 millimeter, but the value of 0.1 millimeter is given to us in the statement of the question. So again, it's the same thing. You know, this is the stage micrometer. You know, this is the IP's graticule. What do you need to do? You have to calibrate the IP's graticule using the value of the stage micrometer. So they say that the small divisions are 0.1 millimeter. So this should be 0.0 millimeter. This is 0.1 millimeter. We still can see that the distance between the two is still 0.1 millimeter. So this is actually what it means. So at times they give you the value in the statement of the question. At times they mention it here on the diagram. Either way, the, the method is very well same. Here you can see that the answer which is given to us are in millimeters and micrometers. So one option is in millimeter and three options are in micrometer. So what I'll do, I'll be very careful with this uh, since three of my answers, possible answers are in micrometers. So I would prefer converting my scale to micrometer. So what I'll do here, the first thing, 0.1 millimeter is multiplied by 1000 to get the answer in micrometer. I get 100 micrometer here. So I know that 40 IP's graticle divisions equal to 100 micrometer. Again, I, I have the same scale which was given to me in the previous question. Now, the next thing is, they are then mentioning that the stage micrometer scale was replaced by a slide of plant cell. So on the stage of micro, on the stage of the microscope, you just replace the stage micrometer with this glass slide, which was having the plant cell. And they are saying, what, are, what is the width of the chloroplast? So now what you need to do, you need to count the number of divisions occupied by this chloroplast here. 
you know all these are chloroplasts here this is the plant cell so any chloroplast you can pick i am picking this chloroplast you can pick this one or this one don't don't pick this because this is this is not a chloroplast this is a nucleus so if i look at the width of the chloroplast occupied by this region i can just count how many divisions this is so this gives me this is zero this is one this is two this is three so this is four so a total of four divisions are occupied by this chloroplast. In this case, what I'll do, I'll again go back to my calculations. Since I know that 40 divisions are equal to 100 micrometer, four divisions be equal to what? So it comes out to be 10 micrometer. Again, what I've done, I've just applied the ratio method and my answer came out to be 10 micrometer. So in this case, the answer is 10 micrometer. I can get very well the correct answer. At times, the common error that students do here is that they end up counting this four as five division. And why is this so? Because the students think that the first line that they are getting, this is one. And they say then two, then three, then four, and this is the, this is the fifth one. So they end up counting four divisions, the five divisions. Uh, remember that when we use, we use a scale, the first value is always zero. We never start a scale with one. So the first occupancy, I can say first point of coincidence will always be zero. It can't, it just can never be one. But in case if you ended you ended up counting these as five divisions, still you can get the very similar answer. So we have the same scale here. Using the same scale, I applied the ratio method and my answer came out to be 12.5 micrometer. You can see the answer is not exactly 10.5. It's a bit larger, but this 10.5, 12.5 micrometer can be compared with all the options available. Now, if I just compare, I'll see that this is the only option which my answer is closest to. So in that case, even five division will not give me exactly a wrong answer but obviously this is the correct way of doing it let's try another question here this diagram of stage micrometer scale with, with, with divisions of 0.1 millimeter apart due to an ips gratitude scale again you are given the state the thing in the statement here which means that this 0.1 millimeter is the distance between these two broad lines keeping in mind this is the stage micrometer and this is the ips gratitude again we know that 40 divisions are occupied by uh, 0.1 millimeter now, since I know that all my answers are in micrometer here, so obviously I should compare, I should just uh, just turn my millimeter reading into micrometer. And how would I do that? I would just multiply this by 1000. So I get 100 micrometer here. So again, this again for the third time, I'm getting the same scale 40 divisions equal to 100 micrometer. The question is, what do I do with this? This is scale. Now, the question they gave is, what is the area of the field of view of the microscope given that pi is equal to 3.14? So as discussed previously, this circle represents your view field. This is how actually you look at the specimen from the eyepiece when you're looking through it. So what do you see here? You see this is a complete circle. If it's a complete circle, it means that the area of a circle can be calculated by pi r square. You can recall this from your basic math class. So this is what actually we have. We have all options are given to us as pi r square. This is the value of pi. So you can see the value of pi is mentioned in every answer, every option. The value of r is what you need to calculate. So probably your radius is 12.5 or 50 or 125 or 250. So you need to just find out the r squared here. So again, what I'll do, I'll do again. I'll, I'll just I'll just use the same procedure here. This is 0 0.0 and 0 0.1 millimeter. So 40 divisions is equal to 0 0.1 millimeter, which means 100 micrometer. So I have my scale here. In this case. 40 divisions equal to 100 micrometer. So what will be the width of the complete 50 divisions? Because you can see that the 50 divisions are the one which are actually giving you the radius. 40 division in here, you have another 10 divisions at this end. So a total of 50 divisions are what they are the, they are the, the uh, you can say the area, or you can say the distance occupied for the radius. So this is what your radius is. So you need to calculate 50 divisions width. So 50 divisions is equal to 5,000 divided by 40. What I did again, I just did, I just cross multiplied it. My radius came out to be 125. So in this case, my answer will be this. So I don't need to calculate the final answer. I think this much getting the radius is sufficient for me to answer this correctly. Again, let's take another example. The diagram shows a stage micrometer scale viewed with an eyepiece reticule using a magnification of 200x. Now, if you're using 200x, it means that your objective this time is not the 40x objective. You're using some other set of objective here and some, probably some other piece of eyepiece as well. It might not be the 10x, it might be 6x. So anyhow, so you are using it to, you are using it for, with 200 uh, magnification. Now, in this case, again, you can see that the scale is given to you. 
they have given stage micrometer ips data so the first idea whenever you get such a question is to interpret the diagram you have to interpret what's mentioned in the diagram what is the diagram telling you so, so, so this is this is the this is the figure of a view feed and these are all 100 divisions always in the ips vertical you will see 100 divisions all etched at once this is the stage micrometer you can see three broad lines here and this is mentioned to you that this region is 0.1 millimeter in this 0.1 millimeter which means that this entire width will be 100 micrometer again i've just multiplied millimeter to micrometer why because all the options given to me in the answer are in micrometer so in this case, the, the question is very similar to the one which we discussed earlier. The, the first question, a chloroplast is measured in five, four IPs data tool. How long is the chloroplast? So you can see 40 divisions equal to 100 micrometer, four divisions equal to X. Just apply the ratio method. And using this, we just, what, what did we do? We multiply four by 100 and divided by 40. An answer came out to be 1.0 10 to power one micrometer, very similarly to the first question. Now, why have I discussed this question again? Although I had already covered a previous question, you can see that the magnification given to you is 200 times. And the question that we discussed first had the magnification of 400 times. So magnification here somehow doesn't seem to have impulse reading, but that doesn't mean it would not always, it would always do this. You have to just follow how many divisions are given in the question. If, if, for example, if they give you eight divisions here, so you will just keep it, keep the value of eight here. If they give you 10 here, so you just place 10 here. The first thing is to get the scale right and then use the value provided and convert it into micrometer. The values given in the IP is that to the 100 divisions. These 100 divisions do not have units. There are no units here. They are all evenly placed. They are equally spaced 100 divisions without any units. So the IP is radical. The idea is that the IP is radical. It's actually calibrated using a stage micrometer. And why do you use a stage micrometer to calibrate it? Because the stage micrometer is having the units already, millimeters already there are, there are units mentioned here. And IP's radical is just having the divisions, equal divisions, you can say 100 equal divisions without units. So there are no units there. So if there are no units there, you just have to calculate, you just have to calibrate the IP's radical with its units first, and then use that scale to find out the width of whatever uh, specimen you are seeing through the, uh, through the microscope. That's all I'd like to cover here. Thank you so much.